film with Robert De Niro in it and they wanted me to do the song at the end of the film. Best place for me. I was just asked through my office if I wanted to do a song at the end of a new film that was coming out that was starring Robert De Niro and I said yeah I'm interested so it was really the same old story it was a phone call. When I was shown the film originally it was in a little viewing theater in Soho, and uh, I was kind of on my own. And so I was just watching the film, enjoying it, and thinking, oh, if I'm gonna do a song, you know, what might it be? I was get, not really getting ideas, but just getting an atmosphere. And uh, they'd laid in Let It Be, unbeknownst to me, song by Aretha Franklin. So I'm going, uh, okay, yeah, this would be really easy. I can write another Let It Be, and I can sing like Aretha Franklin. Thank you, director, throwing me such a curved ball. And I thought, well, there's no way I can do that. So I kind of left the viewing theater thinking, well, it's a nice film, but I, I probably got a pass on this. But uh, later that evening, I got a little idea. Um, so I put down a little bit of an idea, and it grew from there. And I thought, oh yeah, I can, I can do something. I try and do music and lyrics together normally. Uh, I have a kind of rough idea of uh, what might work. And the, the original song was a little bit different, but I found a little bit in the middle of it, which was sort of, it was like this, then suddenly went. I found that little bit, so, so then I went sort of. For too long I was out on my own. And so that sounded like the start of a, of a song then. So I started to work it around that for, for so long. I was out in the cold. So that's where it started. And then I just developed it from that, words and music. But that little beginning of the verse was what led me forward. So I thought, oh, OK, now I sort of know what I'm doing. <laughs> trying to prove I could make it alone. And then I finished it and I thought, you know what, this could work. Every day I spent trying to prove I could make it alone. I could definitely identify to Rob De Niro's part because I have grown up kids who've got their own families. And so, you know, what's, what happens first of all is you say, hey kids, let's all have Christmas together. And while they're younger, it's like, yeah, of course, you know. But when they get a bit older and they've got their own kids, they've got their own husband, um, then it's kind of, well, you know, we would like to have our first family Christmas together on our own, and you've got to deal with that. It's like, yeah, okay, I understand. Uh, In my mind, what they wanted at the end of this film is a song from me, not so much a piece of the score. And that was like one of the questions I had to work out. Am I just gonna go segue seamlessly from Dario's score? And I just happen to start singing. Or am I gonna actually let his score finish and then I come in with something that's like recognizably a song? So that was what I decided to do in the end. And um, I said to Dario, no, I, I want that to happen after Bob De Niro's last line. Your family is making its way in the world and you can be proud of the children and their achievements. And if you were to ask me, I would have to say in all honesty, <laughs> everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. I'd like then my record to kind of unfold and then work its way to the end credits, but just be the kind of emotional end of the movie. Originally, I had this song as a very simple me and piano, just a little bit of bass and drums, acoustic guitar, 
And then I started to think it might be good with a bit of orchestration. So I talked to the director who told me that he'd been using Dario Marinelli. Um, and I knew of Dario's work, so I thought it'd be nice for me to use him rather than get some other orchestrator. So Dario and I just talked. I went to his house in Highbury, uh, offered to tidy his garden up for him. It was just a little bonus. <laughs> it still needs tidying up, by the way, Dario. basically throw everything at it and just see what happened. And in fact, we threw too much at it. So, and he did a demo on a synth, but then we thought, mm, no, we've, we've put too many um, notes or too, too much in it. So um, it was like in Amadeus, the film where the king sort of says, too many notes. It's like, yeah, okay. So we had another meeting where I kind of expressed that to him. I said, I think we've got to simplify it. And what we do is we'll keep to kind of solo voices like a cello or like just a couple of violins before we go to the big orchestra so it kind of stays quite intimate and um, not too overblown. Just try to keep the simplicity of the song. Once we got that together after a couple of meetings, it was, we thought, okay, you know, I think we've just got it right now. So we came here to Air London, and this morning we did the uh, session. And I think they played great. Everyone played very well, all the soloists and the ensemble. And uh, so we're just about to mix it now. And uh, yeah, it's been great fun. Came so close to the edge of defeat. Yeah. But I taught myself to believe every story I told. Your family is making its way in the world, and you can be proud of the children and their achievements. And if you were to ask me, I would have to say, in all honesty, everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Too long. 